they wanted th to have these clear separation lines of whites over here, blacks over here, don't intermingle with us. Right. But when we did do our own thing and build our own then thing, y'all got, got mad and burned it down. Like, so you want us to be with y'all, y'all not, you don't want us to be with y'all. Like, which one is it? Like, right. No, we want, want y'all money. We want y'all away from us, but we want your money. Exactly. In the early morning hours of June 1st, 1921, the wholesale burning and looting of Black Tulsa began. Fighting continued, but black defenders were hampered by the fact that they were greatly outnumbered, and because the police were neither nowhere to be found or were busy disarming and interning black Tulsans, some of the fires in the Greenwood Business District were probably started just prior to the mass invasion of the whites. It's like being in a slave chamber and feeling the energy and feeling the presence and, and, and the history just coming through your soul. That's how I'm feeling right now, being here at the Black Wall Street Memorial in the Greenwood District of Tulsa, Oklahoma. From the hands of their oppressors comes violence and there is none to comfort them. And those now dead, I declare more fortunate in death than are in living to still be alive. In one day, in a self-sustaining community of all black businesses, all black homeowners, 21 churches, hotels, hospitals, bus lines, grocery stores, barbershops, hair salons, doctor's offices, lawyer's offices, were all burned down in just one day right here in America, right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and half you never even knew about it. So we talk about never forgetting a Holocaust or never forgetting a, a, a Wall Street bombing or World Trade Center. We need to go back to June 1st of 1921 and never forget the massacre, the Holocaust, and the single most vicious bombing on U.S. soil right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma of the African community in America where all these businesses listed were bombed and destroyed and over two million insurance claims denied where they labeled it a riot so insurances didn't have to pay off any money to the survivors and surviving families. But this bombing, this massacre, this holocaust all happened in one day. And now we're on a quest to not just help rebuild this community but help create Black Wall Street type communities all throughout the country where we're taking politically powered, socially uh, aware and socially elevated and financially educated black people, Africans in America, and we're rebuilding our own communities, rebuilding our own schools, rebuilding our own hotels, hospitals, businesses, homes, apartment complexes. We're doing all this through the Tulsa Real Estate Fund. This is our fund, the people's fund a fund where everyone can invest as little as $500 and receive an 8% preferred return on their investment, no donations, and receive their prorated share of 50% of the profits of all the real estate that we buy together. A SEC regulated financial vehicle that's transparent, that has auditors, that's regulated, that's sophisticated and civilized, but a vehicle for us to pull our resources together to rebuild black Wall Street types communities throughout the country. It finally just hit me today. I've always known it was destroyed and burned and bombed, but actually being here on the grounds, being at Ground Zero, really touching the memorial and being here and seeing that the impact is really in feeling it today. It's like a ton of bricks weighing on me. We can't nation build if we can't community build. If we can't city build, we can't town build. So I hope you guys can spread the message about June 1st of 1921, 96 years ago, of where the most successful self-sustained, all black, African and American community was bombed and burned down and participated by this government and allowed to happen with no one arrested, no one arrested for a bombing of a whole community, 36 blocks and murders of hundreds of people, injuries of thousands of people and no one arrested except for 6,000 Africans in America the only ones detained or arrested in this whole bombing. It's, it's kind of overwhelming being here and, and thinking about that history and knowing that we could still do that, knowing that we could recreate that, knowing that we could revitalize that. TulsaRealEstateFund.com and we have our Black Wall Street Ball and honoring this Black Wall Street, we got the Black Wall Street Ball August 17th in Atlanta, Georgia. We'll be launching the Tulsa Real Estate Fund where you guys can go to BlackWallStreetBall.com to be part of this black tie and black carpet event.